So I think, you know, this year, 2020, I think learning analytics is going to really start to get bumped up the agenda. There's lots of technology around now that can unobtrusively, you know, track kids' learning behaviours and really provide teachers and administrators with valuable insights. But I think this year, one of the most interesting things is we're going to be able to start giving kids actionable feedback about their own learning behaviours. Um, it's really, um, there are a lot of parallels with the Fitbit. Uh, kind of fitness tracking world. Lots and lots of people just weren't aware of their level of fitness or their resting heart rate or how active they were. And we believe that we can harness learning analytics to do the same thing for kids and their learning, to track how much time they spend writing, how much time they spend reading, when they're writing, what subject areas they're interested in, uh, how quickly they write, the accuracy of their writing, the maturity of their writing, and uh, really just give, give kids a nudge to help them read a little bit more, read a little bit more, stretch themselves a little bit more each day. So two years ago I was talking about 3D printing and uh, you know everyone, so 3D printing is in the, uh, I think it's called the, uh, the trough of um, disillusionment. If you look at the, uh, at the Gartner curve, you know people get all hyped about something and uh, then it goes into the trough of disillusionment and then it kind of climbs back out of the trough again. So I think that's going to happen to 3D printing. Uh, like 3D printers got inexpensive and probably most schools in the UK certainly have got a 3D printer now. The problem is they're so slow. If you have a technology class with 30 kids, it's really not practical for all 30 of them to print something. It just takes way too long. Uh, but that's the previous generation of 3D printers. The next generation of 3D printers use um, uh, fluid and they're about 100 times faster. So that means that instead of something taking 30 minutes to print, you know, it, it, can, be, it can be printed in a minute. And that means that a whole class can probably use a 3D printer over, you know, uh, two periods. And that's going to make a, a big difference. Um, and also, Technology and design tools are getting better and easier to use. You don't have to be a, like a, a physicist to, to use some of the 3D design uh, software that's around now. I'm, I'm almost reticent to use artificial intelligence because before long there's going to be like artificial intelligent chocolate. Everyone has to have AI or machine learning in their, in their, uh, in their product. But technology, let's say, for uh, student protection, I think is going to be enormous over the next year or two. There's an absolutely an epidemic of kind of mental health issues in young kids at school. They're under a lot of academic pressure. They're under a lot of peer pressure. Social media is uh, not helping. And uh, I think that technology uh, this is not something that TechStop are doing actively uh, at the moment, but I think this is something that's gonna be an interesting area for growth. If technology can observe kids who are searching for you know, resources related to uh, self-harm or anxiety, uh, then you know an early warning to uh, a teacher or someone involved in pastoral care at the school uh, can really help uh, you know kids from taking a, uh, taking the wrong path. And I think that technology is getting better now at doing that in an unobtrusive way. Large companies can track kids' behavior without knowing who the kid is, and you know they can be it can be de-identified but a teacher or a person in responsibility at the school or an administrator uh, can see potentially at-risk students. And they can be identified pretty reliably. You know, kids who are being bullied or kids who are exhibiting bullying behavior using social media, uh, that, can, that can be tracked. And I think that it's something that poor technology can really bring uh, a, a social good.